What you are about to see, at least the very first part of this video, is the creative process. It takes place over several weeks and it is what normal YouTubers don't actually show you. It's painful. It's embarrassing. Enjoy. Oh, teaser. I built a whole new workshop while trying to figure this shit out. Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my tiny, tiny home studio. And uh, yeah, welcome to the 2077 build. I'm taking one of our kit guitars uh, in quarantine time and desecrating it utterly and completely. And today I'm going to start and hopefully finish the process. I'm not that hopeful because this is something I've been thinking about for a long time, uh, of trying to retrofit LEDs into uh, a neck without taking the fretboard off. Burn it. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! Anyway, here's the guitar as it currently stands. Uh, I think I figured out how to glue that in. I need to do some paint. I need to install, I need to, it sort of locks itself together, that's fine. LED, an LED channel going along the inside of that so that that perspex all sorts of stuff out. We are not talking about that today. Today, today it's time to focus on a neck. And what I need to do is, I, I don't know, I, th I think I can do it. Ideally, I would like LEDs front and side. There are three ways. There's probably more ways. Let me know how you would do this in the comments below. I always thought you would have to grab a supremely long drill bit, you know, like that, but five times longer, and basically drill in from the end two channels, one on either side of the, of, of the dot, and that's where your positive and negative leads go. Your resistor sits in the end near the battery, etc., and, and you're fine. But as anybody, who's ever drilled anything with a long drill but knows, they tend to wonder. And I couldn't figure out how you would do that accurately and quickly. Another thought is that essentially I will drill into the central dot, then at an angle drill from that to that one, and there, and essentially make a sawtooth type pattern. I'm not sure what to do at the, at the 12th fret. And then essentially have the the wires go through a single hole with one of them uh, with heat shrink tubing or some other insulator. The other option is I route a channel down the entire side of the neck, three or four millimeters deep, on both sides, and then drill straight in where I need to. Uh, essentially make uh, a strip of purfling that uh, will hide all the all of the wires, etc., and then I put in a piece of wood um, to to cover the wires. What I could also then do at that point is uh, put in some nice acrylic rectangles that will act as diffusers for the side dots, and would work with this build. We have got five millimeter LEDs. These are round topped. You can sand down the tops quite easily. And these are three millimeters, tiny little ones. And then in here, something else entirely. So here's a bunch of resistors. And other than a switch and a battery clip to clip onto the nine volt, that's everything you need, really. Now with LEDs, you have to have a resistor. Very basically, I've watched a bunch of videos and looked at calculators and things, and your LED needs a resistor. The, the job of the resistor is to uh, stop too much power from the nine volt battery getting to the LED and blowing it up. With a guitar, you've got 10 LEDs at least, at least. And if you use, if you put them in series, i.e. you've got uh, one LED, a resistor and an LED, then a resistor and an LED, da, 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 et cetera, very swiftly you'll need more than one, two, or even three nine volt batteries. If you put them all in parallel, um, then you will be fine. And you only need one resistor, and you'll see what I'm doing here, but essentially you make a ladder out of the LEDs, 
um, positive wire on one side, negative on the other, resistor down there going to your battery. Did that make sense? I think it made sense. Uh, but what it means is that every single one of the LEDs takes the full amount of power that you are giving all of them. Uh, if you use the wrong size resistor, you either uh, limit the amount of power going to the LED and therefore it is not bright enough, or you run the risk of actually just blowing it up. Uh, or if you're not blowing it up, it's going to be too bright for too long and will draw too much power and the LED itself will fail much earlier. And when you're gluing that into a fretboard, it's not something you want to do. Uh, now I've got here a couple of relatively long, long enough, um, metal rods of some sort. They are conductive, so they'll do the job. And what I'm su suggesting is inlaying them down either side. One is a positive, one is a negative. But uh, I just want to, I want to run a test before I do that. There we go. Okay. I am going to quickly mock up a two, four, six, eight, ten 10 LED parallel test loom to see what happens. Now here's the LED. I'm choosing white. One, one leg is longer than the other. That's the positive. And I want positive on the left hand side. <sighs> Please don't judge the quality of my soldering. Okay, good enough for the test though. So it'll go up like that. And yeah, we will carry on. Also at high speed, maybe my soldering won't look quite so bad. I'll put myself. One more to go. Okay, this is a resistor. And then essentially, you can adjust everything as you require. Ah, okay. Fail. All we've got is not very much brightness, except on the red LED, which I thought was a mistake. Um, so, what does that mean? It means my resistor is wrong. Uh, so I need to go back to my calculations. So what I've got here is a 100 ohm resistor, and I'm just gonna tie it together with the 220 uh, in series. So one, then the other, and that just adds together. What do you think? Negative. And that's a negatory. Again, all I've got is one red LED. Terminator. I much prefer wood. It does what you tell it to. No, so does electronics. Wood is just something I understand more. I have decided to no longer bore you. I've taken the red one out and swapped it with white. And uh, I dialed the resistor right back down to 100 ohms. And this is the result. We have lights. <sighs> I also want side dots, and I'm wondering if this hay fever is ever going to leave me alone. I'm wondering if I can also add three millimeter LEDs to the same nine volt circuit. Negative. Positive. Ha ha! Success. So, so 100 ohms resistance is giving me a relatively bright. LED light across all 20 of them. And that is uh, proof of concept. At this stage, I'm gonna take a break. I have got to insulate the big workshop because the electrician is coming in and tomorrow it is going to be raining. And currently all of my boards and insulation are outside. So I've got a long evening ahead of me. Uh, but, but I know what I'm doing now, I think. I mean, there were a hundred suggestions. Uh, there are many different things, ways that we could do this, but uh, I think this is it for now. So, uh, 
Yeah. I, I don't think this is going to work. Uh, I think I'm going to have to actually borrow my wife's iron and steam this fretboard off. Uh, I think. The, the whole time, for the whole 20 years I've been thinking about this, I haven't done any actual research and I didn't realize, well, I didn't pass the fact that there were two legs on each LED and that they really couldn't go through the same hole easily. I'd like to do it going one to either side, but I also don't know if I'm going to be able to attractively stick those legs through two separate holes going either way and then end up with something that actually looks good. What I'm gonna do is drill a six mil hole. Gosh, this is a powerful drill. And then I'm going to bisect it with a three mil drill. On the actual guitar, of course, I would have to go from either side. So, I'm an idiot, I really am, just silly. So of course, it's difficult to manipulate these legs because they're hard. I keep on changing my mind and evolving and I'm not embarrassed. Um, in working out how I would get 20 LEDs into the same space and just creating huge cavities uh, inside of the neck that just wouldn't be filled with anything except air and wire. <clears throat> Therefore, no structural integrity. So I, I, I backtracked a little bit and thought, well, one LED, why don't we have something in the corner that uh, does both the side and the front dots, as it were. Essentially, I can have a strip of, uh, of perspex or acrylic that matches the body that will also have an LED in it. The only difference is it's not going to be the same LEDs and it's not going to be hooked up to the same uh, sort of color changing system. But that's beyond me. That is beyond me. Scratch that. There, there is one other further possibility, and that is I, I am going to run a quick experiment where I facet the edge of just the LED, and we don't have a massive uh, thing. We literally just have a 5mm LED on the corner. Experimentation is the only way to get anything done. So, concept proven. Uh, I'm down a super there. Poop. Okay. I think that's pretty freaking awesome. So how do I do it without taking the fretboard off? I, 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 I can take the fretboard off, I just don't want to. Can I? Can I use the frets as conductors to conduct one of the, you know, the positive or the negative arm of the thing?
This has taken this has taken a little bit of of, of time, but I'm I'm up and running, and I've had a good a good think about what's happening. Uh, I got the tools up. This is a temporary situation. I've got a new bench in, etc. Lots of light. Let's flood out the. Uh, I don't know. The automatic ISO is working. So yeah, lovely view. I, I really uh, couldn't be happier. And uh, there is a small bandsaw. I've got a bench set up for the kids. They're currently making, the kids are currently making cubes. I don't know why. Uh, lathe, crosscut saw, etc. The wiring of the workshop is still in progress. I specified that I wanted um, something a little bit more special. So all of the, the nice conduit behind me was done and uh, there was a lot of bending and, uh, and matching. So if you see those bends there, he matched it there. Uh, also been moving a lot of gravel. You rightly do not give a about that. So uh, test number one, Test the thought, the, the final thought last time was that I was gonna cut the edge off and do that. Uh, in reality, in reality, I'm gonna route a channel all the way down the edge, install the LEDs like so into the side. And uh, instead of drilling the hole at an angle like I have here, here you can see what's happened. Uh, I'm hoping that if I drill a hole halfway down to underneath the mother of pearl, that that will light up the mother of pearl just enough. The LED won't actually be behind it, but it'll be close enough. And as you can see from this, you can see it's bright enough from here that you can see what's happening. We're just gonna have to be a bit clever with the, the routing of the, the wires, basically. I have been procrastinating about this a lot because I wasn't sure. It, it needs to be tidy, it needs to be clean. And some of the ideas I had were not tidy or clean. Quite frankly, I should just take the fretboard off and put the fretboard back on and do it that way. Um, I, I should, I really should, but I'm not going to. Uh, I want to see if it is possible to put LEDs into a guitar effectively without removing the fretboard. Next time around though, it all comes apart. Oh, new t-shirts, limited edition. Go check them out, crimsonguitars.com. First of all, it's a test. We drill a hole all the way underneath the mother of pearls. So this can go into a, into a vice and we'll see. And this is that point in the build where I say, this is the point of no return. Not quite. I might very well pop out the mother of pearl inlay when it gets hit by the drill bit. I haven't popped it out, I haven't seen any difference. And I expected, I expected to see a difference in color or something where I drilled. So maybe I haven't even hit that. We might need to drill these out as well. Yep, I see nothing. Bye bye mother of pearl. Then we start with the pot at home. I wonder, <laughs> I can see that. So I'm gonna take a four mil hole out and hope that I end up with a nice ring of mother of pearl. Okay, two and a half. That should create a light tunnel and we should be good. Awesome, okay. There we go. And here's trouble. Not entirely sure what they're doing. I do love the field though. <laughs> okay, now these, these need to go to two different dots. So I'll just start them there.
<laughs> Perfect. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Um, yeah, this is working. Oh, by the way, if you are if you're watching this on the day that it's released, go to ISO. Well, click the link in the description below. Um, <clears throat> these are the Isotunes free. I wear them all the time. Put an Isotunes free in your shopping basket. Put an Isotunes extra in your shopping basket, and you will get the extra free of charge. But this is only. Um, I think this offer ends, it's a Father's Day offer, so it'll end the day after this video goes live. So if you're a future person, sorry. But you can still, after that point, use Crimson 10 and get a tenner off. But anyway, um, this is working. The bench is even at the right height, which makes a change. I am talking too much. Shut up, Ben, shut up, Ben. This band saw doesn't work as well as I had hoped. All right, I probably should have used a drill press uh, and a jig to go in there, but hey, this is what it is. So, uh, Ebony, I'll be able to fix that. Uh, this whole dot is gonna probably end up being needing to be replaced. So that's just gonna shatter because we're going for, we're going for this look. I think it works quite well. Uh, so I'm gonna have to replace that, fix, the, uh, fix that, drill the hole again. Uh, but essentially I need one LED going to that one, one LED going to that one and uh, this is my, my my fault. Anyway, back to the drilling. I think this is just going to shatter. That's just destroyed that one. Okay, so I'm going to get a new dot, drill it out, put it in, and then once all of the epoxy etc. is sorted, I will um, fix that little bit of ebony that needs to be fixed. It's official. I think I'm losing my mind. I have a different way of doing it. I hate myself. Okay, now what I'm going to do, and this is the final thing is, we have our little LEDs. Right from the beginning, I wanted to try and use the frets to transmit the, uh, to run the whole damn thing, whatever we're talking about, amps, volts, it's not volts, it's microvolts, microfarads, anyway. Um, and essentially, for example, in this section here, every other fret 
will be positive, every other fret will be negative, and I have got a tiny little LED. We file the top of it flush, we file the sides of the back flush and flat, and I can actually stick it in there below the level uh, of the fretboard, uh, flooded with resin or super glue. Uh, I'll, I'll use resin, but you could use super glue. And I'm going to inlay the legs beneath the uh, the layer, the level of the fretboard as well, also under resin. And we could even sort of bend them around and have different effects and, and looks, etc. But very basically, um, we'll have one leg go to one fret, one leg go to the other fret, and then every other fret will, uh, on the side, be connected to each other. And this looks very, very cyberpunk, and, and should do what I'm after. So essentially, get in there. Thank you. Um, now what I'm gonna actually have to do is, below the level of the fret, I'm gonna drill a tiny hole, just a little bit smaller than the legs, and physically stick them in somehow. Where's my battery? There's my battery. Wrong way around. Bump. Et voila. The same thing will happen on the side. Uh, so, yeah, as long as I don't get the legs mixed up, we should be all right. It's overcomplicated, it's unnecessary. That's pretty much me in a nutshell. Yeah. Can you hear the thunder in the background? Ominous. Okay, now the one thing, and the electronically minded among you will realize I have realized this already, that um, if, I, if I play my guitar string and, and it shorts across the two, let's try and get that so you can actually see what's happening, then that turns, that turns them off. That acts as a switch, basically. Um, now, that means that as I'm playing, the frits, as I'm playing, these will be going on and off and flashing and flashing and flashing and flashing the entire time I play. That might be too annoying. Poop. Poopy, poopy, poopy. with bells on. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Okay, this is what we're doing, people. We have got an LED. We chop the legs off short, we inlay wire to it, nice brightly colored wires. This is cyberpunk after all. And we inlay these wires below the level of the fretboard so that we can still have the, so we still don't need to take the fretboard off, but essentially flap flap, we'll have the wires going in a nice little pattern inlaid through across. Um, and essentially they won't be connecting to the frets. They won't be doing anything like, like that at all. Um, the, the, there will be a, a yellow liar, wire, yellow liar, yellow wire, red lolly, yellow wally, blah, 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 blah. wally, where's wally? Um, that's where's Waldo for you guys in America. I think it was a trademark thing. Uh, we'll have a wire going all the way down one side to which the negatives are connected, but there will be no way that you can short it out in the frets because that would be annoying. I just, I just, I just want to get this done now. I just want to get it done. I, I mean, this entire build, I've been worrying and wondering and thinking about what I'm going to do about these bloody fret. It had to have LEDs. It has to have LEDs. I should have just taken the damn fretboard off because that would be the easy way. 
This is all for you. By the way, yesterday we hit 250,000 subscribers. Thank you. Appreciate that. Apparently there's, uh, there's something special being filmed and I don't know about it yet, so I suppose that's going to be the next build. Maybe. I don't know. See you soon. I'm finding it rather difficult uh, with what I have here to do this, actually. Uh, I've got the wrong size uh, cutters for the Dremel. I've got a 0.6 millimeter and then just huge ones. Um, and they're the wrong type of cutters for the, the, the big ones, just, just, just issues. However, I have just discovered that this micro uh, saw blade, slitting saw blade, actually it cuts straight lines rather nicely. So I'm going to uh, outline it with that and then follow along with the ancient, ancient technology of a chisel and a hammer. It will work. This is going to be pretty cool. So, <clears throat> so remember how I said right at the beginning of this that frankly I should take the fretboard off and be done with it because, you know, that's the way to do it. But no, I want to do something else. I'm going to have to just take the whole fretboard off and it really just sucks. Every idea I've had has been valid and could be done uh, to a certain extent. But uh, at, the, at the close of play yesterday, sadly off, off camera, uh, <clears throat> I was happily messing around. Cut, 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 and shatter. And uh, essentially, because of one of the earlier ideas, I'd obviously drilled these holes all the way in. I had misthought. Misthought? I hadn't even thought about it at all. And uh, essentially, using a, a chisel to clean up the edges of those cuts, uh, it just shattered the fretboard. And frankly, it's just not good enough. Now, I, I could fix that with uh, dust and glue. Uh, you would see it. I could probably inlay some, uh, some, an actual piece of ebony, for example. I also shattered one of, one of those. Um, not surprisingly. At this stage, quite frankly, literally nothing has happened in this video except the process. Uh, and the process of a very distracted and overworked individual. You need to, you need to just give me your sympathy below. Um, no, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I have asked the gentlemen who uh, make our kit guitars for us at Crimson Guitars, if they can prepare a radiused and slotted fretboard for me uh, that's going to be arriving 
probably tomorrow, but at this stage. So what is going to happen now is I'm going to go away and lick my wounds and think about filming properly next week. Uh, nothing has happened in this video whatsoever. I've done a lot of thinking, a lot of experimentation. Hey, I built a workshop and it's great and I'm happy. Well, it's half built. Um, in the next video, I'm going to remove the fretboard from this neck. I'm going to install LEDs front and side. I'm going to uh, do some cool inlay and glue the fretboard on and it will be achieved and it will be beautiful and lovely. In the meantime, I'm going to sand various bits of the body that need to be sanded off camera because it's at that boring stage. And uh, then, quite frankly, it's just a case of finishing, aging, putting it together. Minimal, nothing. It's gonna be great. I am so sorry that this video was so sucky. Please forgive me. Goodbye.